This is a lecture from Open Tuition. For the free lecture notes that go with this podcast, please visit opentuition.com. Journal entries. All a journal entry is, is, as far as the exam is concerned, is the writing down of a double entry in words. Um, and standardly, we write it down in a standard format. So if you look at example one, it says the business purchases goods for resale from Mike for 2500 on credit. Well, of course, if we buy goods on credit, the actual double entry in the T accounts will debit purchases here with 2500 and will credit payables. Well, fine. That's what the entry will be in the actual uh, ledger. If you're ever asked to write that entry in words for any reason, then very standardly we always write the debit entry first. So it's debit purchases and the credit entry second. So credit payables. As far as the amount's concerned, the amount here is 2500 well, we imagine we've got little columns, a debit column and a credit column, uh, on the sheet of paper. So, uh, debit purchases, we put 2,500 there. Credit payables, 2,500 there. So, it looks neat. However, we don't normally head up the columns. So, that's what it looks like. The debit first, the credit second, uh, and the amounts in imaginary columns. Um, standardly, we'd also write a description below a reason. So here it's ooh, um, the purchase of goods from Mike on credit. But there are no standard words. Uh, in practice, it's just whatever explains the reason for it. Uh, and that description at the bottom is called the narrative now in later exams you can actually be asked to write out journal entries in this exam because it's um, multiple choice uh, the only time you'll see them is occasionally the answer will be which of the following is the correct journal entry Sometimes they have the narrative below, sometimes they don't. But you'll just be checking for this example here. Is that the right entry? Debit purchases, credit payables? Yes, it is.